Hi, my name is Peter Downauer with Community Solutions Initiative. Today I'm going to show you how to build the battery harness, which is attached here. I've got a hub on the other end of it. I'll just pull this apart. See, it's a pretty simple device with a 15 amp uh, resettable circuit breaker on one side and a pair of alligator clips on the other. This is what a completed battery harness looks like. You can see that it uses a male AML connector. The resettable circuit breaker is here and it's uh, attached together with some zip ties and it's protected, protected by a three quarter inch black plastic cover. If I show you another one without the cover on it, you can see that it uses flag connectors and we need a little jumper that goes in between the AML and the circuit breaker terminal. Here's an overview of the components. We have our 14-2 wire already connected to the alligator clips. The 18 gauge wire is going to be cut down for the jumper. We have two quarter inch flag connectors, a male AML connector with the associated pins, and our 15 amp auto reset circuit breaker. So we'll take the circuit breaker and orient it so that the 15 amp sticker is on the right side. You can also see that there's two terminals that are the same terminal on the right side and then there's the open single terminal on the left side. We'll put a little JB weld on the center on the top. I want to use a good amount. And now we'll take our male AML connector and just place it in there and make sure that we get the end sticking out enough so that we can connect something to it and press it down firmly. We'll let that sit for four minutes. We're going to make a three inch split at the end of this wire. And then on the positive wire, noting that the negative wire has a ridge in it, we're going to cut that back by another inch. Now on the negative wire, we need to strip about an eighth of an inch. And on the positive wire, about a quarter of an inch to a half inch. On the negative wire, we'll attach a female pin. And then on the positive side of the wire, we'll put on one of our uh, flag connectors. And just crimp that on. Now we're going to cut off a 2 inch length of the 18 gauge wire and we're going to attach to it a, on one side a female pin and on the other side one of our flag connectors.
I skipped a step so I'm going to go ahead and insert it in here and what we want to do is burn a hole in the back of a 3 quarter inch black plastic cap with our second cheap soldering iron I'll make these a little bigger than usual Now on the battery harness, we also need to build, uh, burn two more holes in it. I'll just hold it with a set of pliers in the middle. <clears throat> and I'm going to go through both walls right near the front. And this needs to be big enough to fit a zip tie. We'll do it on either either side. Now I've slipped the protective black cap over the wires and now I can start putting the uh, connections together. I'll take the negative wire, put it in the negative terminal of the AML connector. And then I'll take the flag connector and put it in the middle. Now with our jumper, we'll put the, the AML connector on the positive side, AML pin. And the flag on the left terminal. This is the single, the one that's uh, apart from the others. Although it may be easier to do it the other way around. There we are. Now we're going to put the zip ties in place. We'll put two over the AML connector and the circuit breaker. Clip off the excess. And then we can push our black cap up over the terminals. You may need to bend in the terminals just a little bit to get this over everything. And we want to kind of line up the, the holes on either side so that, so that we can get the zip ties through. And I'll just start at the bottom. Feed it through. Put it underneath the other two zip ties and then tighten it at the bottom. That'll hold the protective covering on there securely. Now all we got to do is align the pins and our generator harness should be good to go.